everyone welcome to tonight's stream tonight we are well today's stream we are talking about ethereum today um, don't worry if you don't uh, know where any of the links are I will have the links in the description after the show um, so please stay with me and we'll be talking about Ethereum now Ethereum has been out for quite some time um, its ecosystem is on track um, so we'll, we'll be mining Ethereum today I'll show you how to do it um, it's as I said it's been out for quite some time um, and it's heading towards um, it's Ethereum 2.0 which is um, proof of stake and already they are running proof of stake which is why um, Ethereum prices have been up it is also why um, a lot of the other prices have been up with DeFi and everything that's going on in the um, cryptocurrency world at the moment so as you can see this is their main page um, I'm not going to go into it much um, but basically it's being used at present they are starting to build um, on their 2.0 proof of work uh, it will be going we're actually in proof of work right now but they will be moving to proof of stake probably within the next two years um, so they're on track with that um, and um, yeah so they're quite a good currency to hold they are currently the number two coin in um, the ecosystem of the cryptocurrency space um, and if you go to what to mine now I don't count my electricity costs in in this so if you go to what to mine Ethereum Classic is number one. Um, reason being, I'm not sure. Maybe just the fact that so many people are converting their Ethereum Classic. But Ethereum is number two on the list at present. Um, prices have been down over this weekend so not to worry as you can see the block reward is down to 2.87 coins it has been up as high as 12 ethereum in the last few weeks um, so if if you are hashing out blocks and it was at, at 12 12 blocks you'd be making a mint considering 2.87 is the the norm for ethereum classic blocks um so yeah with my cards i'm running two rx 480s at the moment my mining rig is down i've got to get in well i'm waiting on a new power supply to come out to me for it um so yeah I'm still waiting for that but at present um, Ethereum, Ethereum is the number two coin 
which gives me with my hash rate which is not what's shown on here it's showing 59 my actual hash rate is higher um, I get 32 point between 32.5 and 32.7 mega hash on each one of my cards so yeah and that's with my overclocks um, so yeah um, so it's saying $1.58 a day for me um, if you're looking to solo mine ethereum class uh, sorry ethereum um, so let's see how long it'll take you to solo mine it's up to 2.90 blocks 1008 US dollars and it would take you one year nine months and three weeks to find a block on average not saying that's how long it would take you but that's the average time you can expect using 60 mega hash to get a block the more mega hash you throw at it the shorter the time span so that's if you want to solo mine it I don't recommend it not not at this rate I know people before before this bull run short bull run store started that were solo mining it and get it getting blocks within 45 days so yeah but for now too many people are on the network it's too hard to find blocks so I would recommend um, not trying to mine it solo now we're going to need a wallet for this I recommend the Zalcor wallet it's a multi-asset wallet it's quite a good wallet I use it all the time um, for a lot of things as it says there multi-asset encrypted wallet um, has built-in exchanges um, and their raid map is on target it's very very good wallet to use I'll pull up mine and show you that's mine at the moment I've got a little bit of Bitcoin in there um, because I've been using my Bitcoin to buy parts for my PC and for my mining rig so I'm waiting on parts to come out so I don't have much in my wallet at the moment most of my ethereum I've been converting to Bitcoin um, because I'm affiliated with Overclockers UK and this is Overclockers U UK and um, they're who, who I'm affiliated with quite a good company to get your products from um, very good in shipping now and their parts are all excellent I have no problems whatsoever um, I've got a gold rated power supply that I put in here into my PC um, really good and yeah it's quite quite decent power supply 700 watt gold power supply um, from overclockers now the 
one I have is the 700 watt Co-Link Enclave power supply working nice and smoothly um, unfortunately I've got to buy a new monitor for my PC as I've my, when my last power supply blew it took out my monitor as well um, so if you see any fuzzy grainy bits it's it's actually my monitor as you can hear that's my monitor um, shorting it's playing up at present um, but back to the Cellcore wallet so what you'll need is an ethereum address so you go to where it says ETH down here click on that you will click on receive and you'll copy that address from your Zalcor wallet then you can close that now miners there are two miners that I recommend for mining ethereum one is claymore miner and that's this one here and you download that if you've got Linux you'll download that one Windows I recommend you use this one Windows zip rather than the Windows password for Claymore um, the Windows zip is a lot better um, because you don't have to put a password in the other one is for um, the, the creator of this version made his own website and put a password on it so yeah I use just the Windows zip so that's and what you do is once you have that you go to um, sorry I've got to go to here now I have um, Claymore set up in here for Ethereum somewhere uh, I'm trying to remember where it is I think it's this one um, no, I've got, oh yeah, there it is, so you right click on that, you click on edit, now you, you choose your pool, for me I'm using Ethermine, so what you do is choose your pool you go over to there you'll click on start mining and it will give you a list of the different locations of their servers you'll choose the area closest to you for me it's Europe so it's eu1 at ethermine.org then you'll pick your port address for me it's double four double four and you'll create a batch file with that so as you can see eu1 ethermine.org then your port number which is that now you will want to put your wallet address in there then you will put your worker name in which for me is Mick your password which is X now 
after this I'll have to stop my miners because I'm currently um, mining with Phoenix Miner Ethereum so basically all you do is once you've created that you go over to here I just have to save this as bash files already made but when you save these you will save them as dot bat if you don't save them as a dot bat you will wind up with something like this which is a text file you have to save them as a dot bat file click on save as you can see it's got the little cogs on it whereas if you file save as and save it and just save it as that right what you get is a duplicate copy of what you've just made absolutely won't work so you must save it as a .bat then all you do is double click on it, it'll open up the command prompt window, it will go through its phase okay pull sent wrong data cannot set epoch disconnect oh I'm using an old, older version So, yeah, it won't work. Um, this is the one. So that that's the old one. As you can see, this is one I've already done. So you double click on this. Now... I've got this set up slightly different. I've got um, it all set up so that um, it will be a little qu quicker receiving work. So at present it's writing the DAG file for this. I've got 8 gig cards in here um, and because I'm streaming as well you'll see the second GPU the hash rates down on it because it's doing all the encoding work for for the stream um, so and I'm getting 31.7 as you can see on GPU zero um, so it's going through its processes now it'll start picking up shares shortly um, I hope <laughs> um, but it's fairly simple to do I'll have a batch file for you in the description after the show um, but it's that easy with Claymore you write your batch file you put it in now there is also a proxy miner um, around that I use specifically for running Phoenix miner it gives me slightly more shares on the pool than if I'm running 
just um, the miner itself as you can um, I'm going to have to tune this so it's just a case of plus or minus on these until you find a sweet spot where it starts collecting shares I can't, I can't remember where, where I set these for collecting shares but um, With this, you either hit, if you want to do just one GPU, you hit X and then it'll be zero or one if you're running two GPUs. Depending on what your first GPU is, it'll be GPU zero is your first GPU, second GPU will be GPU one. So that tells you which one that you're um, tuning or so basically it's either plus or minus on on here will change your GPU's tuning. So if I set this to nine I'm tuning both GPUs at the same time um, and you can see my power consumption is temperatures at 56 and 53 power consumption is 199 watts that's because I'm running two RX 470s they both use 100, 100 watts piece to 105 watts when they're mining so that's basically um, basically it for um, mining with um, claymore I don't have that set up for my proxy server now I will show you the proxy server that I have I downloaded for this so just open it okay that's your proxy server now the config for this I is fairly straightforward you put your your coin in here for me it's ethereum now leave these two the same your host is your 127.0.0.1 and your port number is 08080 leave them the same now your wallet address is your wallet address so the one you got from here from your Zelcor wallet you put in there okay now your main pool when you're going down you want to enable your worker identity which is true then you go down here you can monitor it as well so if your miner goes down while well, say you're at work it'll send you an email you can if you're you can remote log in to your PC you can log into it restart the miner so now so you have your pool host which is ethermine.org pool port which is 444 
Uh, now I run failover pools on mine, so I have this set to true. So you have the Asia one, if the pool goes down in the EU, you can go to Asia, then the US one and two. So, and then you have log to file, which can create a log file. And once you've done, all you do is hit save. Now, to run that, I've just got to pull up. My proxy server which is running already close that double click on it it'll come up like this this is the proxy server running that I'm running so it'll come up like that now to set up for Phoenix miner remembering those I run 5B by the way um, so when you're setting up Phoenix Miner you will have your Phoenix Miner set up like this so it'll be HTTP colon forward double forward slash 127.0.0.1 your port number will be 8080 then it'll be forward slash your worker name it'll have get work time my rate is set to 100 and at, and rate 1 so and then my general tuning is set to 40 so that's how I have mine set up for running with this and all I have to do is click on that now the worker will pull up write the DAG file And as you can see, it's telling me it's got Ellesmere um, memory in it. And it will start mining, as you can see, 32.26 mega hash on there. I pull this down here. And the next thing you want to do is go back to the pool. Sorry, I've got to move things around. Go back to the pool. Bring this back up here. And make sure that you're getting shares on the pool. So it may take a few minutes. Now I've set my tuning to 40 on this um, because I know it's effective. Um, because I stopped it for a few minutes, my ha my um, reported hash rate is showing zero until I get some shares. Then it'll report my hash rate on there. Um, but I'm using a proxy miner because my miner will just do the calculations as you can see got a share um, the miner will do the calculations the proxy server gets the work from the pool holds it for the miner the miner will do its calculations and then submit shares back to the proxy miner which will then submit it back to the pool so it's taking 33 milliseconds 
for that to happen for a share to be submitted whereas if you look at the share here two milliseconds for a share and it submitted it back to the pool in 41 milliseconds so all you all you're doing by doing it with the proxy miner is um, reducing your miner's latency to the pool so the miner's just doing its calculations it's not working as hard but you're you're still getting more shares doing it this way than if you were if you were to um, just do the straight miner to the pool so you'd have that latency there of 23 29 milliseconds um, so you'd have a lot more lag time between the miner submitting shares and receiving work even though I have mine set to 100 milliseconds the, the normal is 200 milliseconds for get work time at the pool on Phoenix Miner so normal is 200 milliseconds um, if you set it in a shorter time say 100 milliseconds 120 milliseconds it means it's reducing that time to get work from the pool as you can see another share submitted in two milliseconds whereas it's 39 milliseconds to submit it to the pool um, so yeah you're just reducing that lag time between the miner getting the work and submitting it back to the pool um, and so yeah I've been mining now for a couple of days well a couple of weeks on here as you can see it just dropped off just before it'll come back up again now um, So I already have $3.45 and the other good thing about this it tells you your estimated earnings per day as well as per week and per month so you can calculate how much you, you can expect to earn per month on your current hash rates um, and it varies from time to time make sure that you're showing up on the pool I am so it also shows your invalid shares and your stale shares I get some stale shares because um, my my miner actually does work faster than than sometimes can be submitted to the pool so I get some stales going through as you can see 31 milliseconds did it in 3 milliseconds there so it's that easy to do um, if anyone's got any questions feel free to ask them um, unfortunately I haven't been able to do much recently um, because my computer was down for a while and then um, 
had problems with my internet my ISP slowly sorting that problem out um, well they have sorted it out for now um, but they're laying new cable into the estate um, now to resolve the problem because um, the cable that they initially had in the estate was owned by a different company and they were leasing it from it and they've been getting a lot of complaints where people have been um, getting dropouts in the network um, and they can't figure out why especially with mine um, they've been out to my place about a dozen times my ISP, ISP have to look at the problem try to figure it out because from the the router to their end looks fine but when it gets to my PC it's dropping out like every 30 to 40 seconds which is absolutely ridiculous it's a pain in the neck um, and it's cost me four power supplies in a year which is not very good especially when they're gold rated power supplies um, and and they cost about 60 to 80 pounds at a time it's not good not good at all um, so yeah um, that's been my what I've had to deal with over the last 12 months that's why my streams haven't been regular um, so hopefully this will sort it all out and I will be able once they finish laying all this new cable get us all connected up um, I'll be able to do better quality streams I've now sorted out my microphone um, I bought a Behringer mixer um, with a phantom power supply built into it and it seems to be producing better quality sound than I had before so hopefully I will be able to continue to stream more quality content and hopefully do better um, better programs in the future um, so what the world is doing this week in cryptocurrency let's see um, where's um, where is it where is it where is it um, there we go coin market cap so this week in coin market cap these are all in US dollar prices by the way so just wait for everything to load there we go Bitcoin is at ten thousand dollars five hundred and ninety ten thousand five hundred and ninety seven dollars US Ethereum is three hundred and forty seven this is for each coin by the way um, I should I should do this add filters all the mineable coins so you can see actually which which coins are mineable and which coins aren't um, so Bitcoin Cash $219.35 Litecoin which is an ASIC coin $46.02 Bitcoin SV $161 Cardano is 9.5 cents Monero is $106.61 
Um, Zcash is $61.36. Ethereum Classic is $5.12. Dogecoin is down to 0 0.02. Um, Decred is $11.28. Bitcoin Gold is $7.71. Bitcoin Diamond is 53 cents now. Raven Coin is 1.3 cents. Uh, Mona Coin is $1.24. Uh, Verge is point, point zero, uh, sorry, point 0.3 of a cent. Uh, energy is $1.46. Horizon is five dollars thirty seven. Z coin is three dollars seventy nine. Eternity is eleven point two cents. Loki is fifty cents. Cortex is eight point nine cents, so nearly nine cents a coin. Green is 30.6 30, 30 cents. Metaverse is 17 cents. Graceful coin is 16.8 cents. Vert coin is 22.4 cents. Ubic is 16.5 cents. Just looking for the ones that I know that are mineable. So that's that's the top 100 list anyway of coins for this week. Um, and um, yeah, so I've I've been trying to get things sorted out on my end, but as I said um, after the show, um, I'll have all the links to everything down in the description. And that's about it for today. Thanks for stopping by. I hope everyone has a has a good Sunday or what's left of their Sunday if they're in the UK or Europe and I will see you next time have a good one for now thanks for stopping by